Welcome back to Way of Yao. My name is Mother Yao and it is a pleasure to see you all. I want to thank every single one of you guys who are watching me right now. If you're already a part of the family, welcome back. And if you are brand new to this channel, baby girl, get into the tease. We love new members over here. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you do not miss out. Hit the notification bell so that you are notified whenever mother uploads a brand new video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and leave comments down below. And let's get into this video. So as you know, 2018 is coming to an end and we don't have much time until 2019. 19 hits us like a MF -er. so we are going to be doing a recap of 2018 now anybody knows that in the beauty industry in this past year so much tea has been spilt the amount of drama channels that have erupted out of nowhere I mean I live for a little bit of drama I'm guilty and gonna lie I think the drama channels are really doing really 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 well person isn't friends with this person this person isn't for so much has gone on and I think that it's it's, it's a mother's duty to bring something positive to the table, okay? So, in this video, I'm going to be doing a recap of all of the amazing trends and all of the amazing things that took place in 2018 because we don't always need to focus on the negative and I think that we need to round the year off with something positive and some positivity that took place in this year. And this year has been amazing for makeup trends. Absolutely amazing. So many artists, especially on Instagram, have really been able to grow and progress through them starting a trend and then maybe a bigger artist, somebody like Nikki Tutorials or James Charles, you're going to hear them, their names quite a bit in this video. And it's so amazing to see that a larger artist can, um, you know, pay homage and credit that smaller artist and that smaller artist can really grow and build something as well. So, you know, it's it works in two ways. And I think that it's such a beautiful thing that despite there being so much drama and antics over there, over here, we have people who are just showing love for makeup, showing, um, you know, just a passion for makeup, passion for trends, bringing something new to the table. So 2018 has been the birth of so many amazing trends and I think it is time to get into the list. So I'm going to be starting off with number 10. James Charles kicked 2018 off with a banger. In January he released the whole thermal trend which I think was absolutely beautiful, beautifully blended and just the whole realistic look of it, it actually looked like a thermal scan and I think that is so amazing to see a trend that stems from something in real life but you actually create that look with makeup and to see it so vibrant and pigmented and the way that so many different artists across the world did and recreated that look I think is absolutely beautiful and it inspired so many people. James Charles is one of those people who actually helped to pioneer the whole idea of trends becoming a thing that everybody starts to take on. So toodles to you James, that is number 10. Now number 9 is the chrome trend that took off very recently. Recently. Now, as you know, James Charles and Morphe did a collaboration and they created a brand new palette, which a lot of people say is very similar to the 35B palette, I believe. And it has a whole load of colours in there and um, it looks absolutely amazing. It's absolutely beautiful aesthetically and apparently the pigment is absolutely amazing as well. And so many people recreated looks using that palette and one of the looks that um, was recreated using that palette was this chrome face look which was absolutely stunning amazingly pigmented and of course there was a little bit of tweaking of editing but who doesn't edit their photos now it was originally started by marcelo cantu also known as marcelo cantu photos on instagram and he actually created this look using a digitalized software where it wasn't actually a makeup look and then an instagram by the name of lavi dunn prince recreated that look using makeup using the jane charles palette which i think was absolutely stunning and so many people were living for the look, but then it really took off, of course, when James Charles recreated it on his channel. And so, yeah, number nine goes to you. I think it's all like a like a trio, I'd say. They all played their part in getting the look out there and making it popular. Now, number eight is going to bring a little bit of controversy because I'm not actually certain as to who started it. My When I actually recreated this look and I asked, I put it in the caption and I said, I'm not certain who created this look first, please tag the person. And a lot of people tagged somebody called Leslie Aileen, 
right? And Leslie Aileen, she had actually re um, reposted her original look saying that she was the original creator. And so I was a little bit in between two minds because then I had seen that Nikki Tutorials had um, recreated a look of um, makeup by Raquel, who um, a lot of people are saying she started the Good Meets Evil um, eye look. I don't actually know, I don't fully know who started this but I'm gonna mention them both because I think it was absolutely beautiful and absolutely amazing. Everybody feeds off everybody, you know, it's a 360, it's a circle. So, let's move on to number seven. <gasps> Makeup by Jack. He actually snatched my wig, I'm not gonna lie. Nobody had thought of doing this before. I think it, that is actually an amazing, 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 amazing piece of art. He did the face paint with a brush. I think that it looks absolutely stunning. Like everybody, all the girls were out here recreating it. The girls and boys were out here, you know, with paint brushes, with rollers, with this, that, and the third, with all sorts of stuff painting on their face. The whole idea behind it is absolutely beautiful. And I think it is damn right iconic, okay? if mother does say so herself. Now moving on to number six, we have the face mask. Now this was really popularized by Nikki Tutorials when she did the whole mask, the illusion of holding the mask on her YouTube channel and it took the world by surprise. I know so many artists as well who recreated that look. So many people did that look and I think that is so amazing. It looks just beautiful. It looks just beautiful and it's almost like a power of makeup part two as she said. It is, it is kind of similar to that but it definitely derives from Cake Face of Jay, where she, um, she, she's always holding an object on her face. She's always got like, whether it be a book, whether it's a frog, like whatever it is, she's always holding something. So that whole idea of holding it, I think is absolutely beautiful and makes it even more 3D. And also not to mention that when Nikki did the whole mask sort of idea, she added the whole glassy effect on the mask, which is inspired by Makeup by Jack because he did like a whole sort of painting it was the reflect, like, it, it's just out of this world. Now, you've heard a lot about Cake Face of Jay, so we have number five dedicated to her. Oof. I think that just her aesthetic as a whole has really helped to revolutionize makeup, revolutionize makeup trends, the whole Instagram world. Everybody's been living for her artistry. It's absolutely out of this world. So number five is gonna have to go to the water glass effect that she where she's holding the water glass but then she's drawn the water going down her face just that her aesthetic as a whole is just somewhere beyond i saw that she was on bbc recently so toodles to you girl you deserve that get your coverage get your coin or whatever and you can see how pigmented and how real and how she hasn't edited it and and it's literally that precise and it looks that 3d and that real she did the damn thing, baby girl. So number four is gonna have to go to the cloud trend, which was started by NZ underscore Regal. This trend is one of the most beautiful trends, if not the most beautiful, and it literally took us by storm. Even I had to recreate that look, baby girl, I ain't gonna lie, it was popping, and my eyes were looking like, like a snap. I think the original one that she did was like a pinky purple and then she recreated a blue, a bluish sort of one. And then it became really popular, of course, when Nikki Tutorials came and did a whole tutorial on her channel and all the girls were living for this look. They were eating it up and everybody recreated the look. It's like so out of this box, but then so easy to recreate because when I did it, I was like, girl, there's not much to it, but yet the effect it gives you is so beautiful and so stunning. Number three is gonna have to go to the artwork of God is a Woman. We have all seen across the gram those purple lilac stripes along people's faces. It looks absolutely stunning and so aesthetically pleasing and so easy to create. I don't know why I didn't recreate this one, maybe because everybody was doing it, but maybe I should have because it's so easy to do and it gives you such a beautiful effect that will work on any skin tone. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So the person who did the artwork on Ariana Grande is Alexa Miad. Miadi, I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this is the person that did the artwork on Ariana and I think it's absolutely beautiful. When I saw, when I watched the video and I saw Ari in the in the water, in the, whatever water she was in and it was all murky and all painty and she was just there with the, the little, she snatched my wig. My wig was nowhere to be seen. I don't know where it went. I mean, girl, that's why I'm natural. <laughs> 
Literally, my wig was snatched and it gave me life. And I think that it really started to enter the makeup world, the whole Instagram world, YouTuber world, when, you know, James Charles came out with that look. When he recreated it, then all the girls and boys are out here wearing that purple look. And I've seen people switch it up. I've seen people do blue. I've seen people do different colors and stuff like that. I think it's just so beautiful, so simple, but yet so effective. And that is the beauty of that look. So toodles to all three of you, baby girls. Love you. Number two is a look that I saw left, right and centre. I am telling you, every single Instagrammer recreated this look. And if you didn't recreate this look, you're not an Instagrammer. I guess I'm not an Instagram because I'm one of them who didn't recreate the look. However, so many people recreated this look. And that is the Instagram eye. My understanding of it is that Domsky originally did the um did the artwork but he did it as like a face so he drawn the instagram square on his face with like you know the instagram banner up there and the profile picture and whatnot and his face was the instagram icon and then abby roberts took that on who i actually know to the see you baby girl snatch my wig again and again and again and again and i've stopped counting but she recreated it and made it as an eye and oh my god, Instagram went crazy. <sighs> Everybody recreated that look. And it really did take the whole makeup industry by storm. That whole sort of idea, that concept. Stunning. And number one spot. The number one spot. I was torn. I was torn between number two and number one. Should I switch it over? What should it be? But I've decided to keep number one as number one because this is going to stand the test of time, I believe. It's something that can take, it can go on into the future. It's something that is going to last for many years to come, I believe. It's something that's never going to lose its value, that's never going to run out. And at the end of every year, people are still going to be doing this trend. And this trend is by Lance Aguas. This is the 2018 makeup trend, where he basically got all of the best trends of this year and did it on his face. He is so young and so talented at such a young age. Such a young age, and he thought of this. So you've got, you know, this trend here, that trend there, this trend there, and all of the different, and everybody has literally done that as well. Where at the end of the year, they sum up all of their best looks, or the best trends that took place in 2018, and they do it on their face, and then it's almost like a memory to, you know, to remember of that year and all of the amazingness that went down in that year. I think it's just a beautiful thing and you get number one spot. And I think that in 2019, at the end, when, you know, the year is up, the people will do it again. 2020, people will do it again. 2021, people will do it again. Why? Because the end of the year is always going to come. There's always going to be a new end of the year where you're going to want to remember all of the amazingness that went down in that year. And what better way than to put it all into one beautiful look. So you did the damn thing, baby girl. Snatch my wig. Don't give it back. Off with a ting now. And that's done. <laughs> So that concludes this video guys. I'm so, 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 so excited that this year is soon to be up. This year is going to be up very soon, but you know what? 2018 has been amazing. So much has taken place, even in my life. I don't think I necessarily got involved in as many of the makeup trends as I could have, but I have grown so much um, social media myself and I just feel so happy and I'm just so grateful for all of you guys and I just feel so, 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 so excited for 2019 to think that at the beginning of the year, I was still working retail in February is when my Instagram really started to take off. I was still on 3K in February and now I'm ending the year with 149K. So that's absolutely amazing. And I've achieved so much and I wanna thank you guys for, you know, sticking by me and showing me that support. It absolutely means the world to me. And I can't wait to see what 2019 has in store for us and wigs are gonna get snatched that's all i can say baby girls so once again if you're not already a part of the family make sure to hit that subscribe button hit the like button to show your support and god I feel like i'm gonna cry <laughs> hit the like button to show your support and make sure to leave a comment as well if you um agree with the order if you don't you know you can have your discussion 
everybody's opinion is valid and I want to thank every single one of you for being here this year and whatever point you joined me at, whether it be in the beginning, whether it be in the middle, whether it be yesterday, today, I want to thank you all for being here and it means the world to me and I'll see you guys in 2019. Bye guys.